Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for weatherweb.net. This is your look ahead video today. Simon's off at the Royal Meteorological Society's student conference today in Birmingham, so you've got me for the look ahead video. And certainly a very hot day across the country as a whole. This chart from weatheronline.co.uk shows the temperatures from 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'll just zoom in towards the south and the east of England for you. And quite widely there, temperatures into the low 30s Celsius, 32, 33, 34. Uh, a few spots uh, a little bit higher than that. London's Heathrow Airport was the highest of all. 36.7 uh, was recorded there this afternoon, making it the hottest July day on record in the UK. Now whether you look at the urban heat island effects of these places and say that stations have changed over time, or not uh, in terms of creating our uh, meteorological records. At the very least, these temperatures are representative of what we saw in these areas during today uh, for places where you are living and working. So a hot day you no doubt uh, have uh, experienced for many of you. So where did that all uh, come from? This was the chart uh, as it was today, then from uh, the European model. Uh, this uh, showing the area of low pressure out towards our west and high pressure uh, off towards the east and drawing in uh, that plume of very warm air from the south, a strong flow from the south across the country. Uh, many of you have been quite breezy really across some of these eastern counties, and also across the hills of northern England. Uh, some strong gusts of wind uh, reported today, around 40 or 50 miles per hour over the very tops of the Pennines and Scottish mountains. So it's that strong flow uh, combined uh, with high pressure and uh, higher heights in the upper atmosphere to draw in all that warm air from uh, south of Spain and gradually across France over these most recent days and today it has reached us as well. So that's the synoptic setup that has created today's heat. Things are changing slowly over these next few days though and a bit more information on the next couple of days ahead is as always in the fast forecast video here at weatherweb.net. Here's the chart looking forwards into uh, early next week. We've got low pressure still broadly centred away towards our west. The flow coming in from the south-southwest across the country but areas of rain and at times thundery moving in as troughs of low pressure just swing eastwards in this setup. Quite how that detail will evolve is a trickier one to pin down. The core of the heat though by this stage transferring more across central parts of Europe and further eastwards with time. A long way off though, but this is the chart suggested by the European model towards the 11th of Ju July. Uh, broadly the detail, it may not be quite like this, but it shows a trough of low pressure in the lower heights away towards the north of the country. So something fairly unsettled uh, still by this time. So looking at like being fairly broken and by that time uh, quite a bit cooler uh, as well, most likely. I mentioned that heat transferring its way across Eastern Europe. We've got uh, this chart then as the temperature anomaly over the next seven days. This is from Carsten Houston's site uh, on the web. Showing the uh, temperatures then are well above normal, around uh, five to eight degrees Celsius above the normal values across much of uh, continental Europe. The heat then across France, across Germany, extending its way eastwards with time as well. We're still above average in the UK, generally uh, a few degrees above the average value for early July, but not the heat overall that we've seen today. Just looking around the globe then, this is the temperature anomaly chart uh, further afield and just looking over towards uh, America then, uh, quite a bit cooler than average out towards the eastern side of the country, temperatures below normal here uh, for the time of the year, but warmer than uh, normal out towards uh, the west, so quite a warm spell across uh, the northwestern side of the states. Some uh, wildfires have been experienced here over the past uh, few days or so. Looking towards uh, parts of Europe, there's that uh, heat across Europe. Cooler than normal temperatures though, uh, affecting northern parts of Russia in this part of the world. Just looking at your uh, 500 millibar anomaly chart, Simon likes to show you these ones fairly regularly. This is uh, the two different models, then the European model on the left and GFS model on the right, the European and the American models. This is for the day 7 to 10 period, so this is looking towards the later part of next week, uh, towards that following weekend. Lower pressure, lower than normal heights, then effectively towards the north of the country, uh, showing that fairly changeable uh, westerly pattern that will be affecting the UK by this time, that looking like being the trend on both models there. So some agreement for a fairly changeable spell uh, going through next week and that bit cooler than we've seen at this current time. But I'll leave you with that for today. Uh, Simon will have more details from the various other models, including the Japanese model on Friday, uh, looking at how things are going to develop through July and beyond. That's the very latest though on this Look Ahead video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.